I would tell you, yes, for the ones that uh, do well and make it to a certain point, whether that's a 10,000 revenue, 100,000 revenue, whatever that metric is where you plateau in your business to scale beyond that, in my experience and what I see on a day to day basis, just working with business owners all over the world, it's this right here to the degree that you can either systemize your business or hire out is to the degree that you can scale. It usually boils down to those two things, either systemizing your business so that, again, it's more duplicatable, it's more streamlined, it's more convenient. I mean, look at you know the biggest businesses on this planet. Look at Amazon, look at Apple, look at Tesla, look at all these companies, right? Convenience is key, right? So they're systemized, they're streamlined, they're convenient for the end consumer. So to the degree that your business is systemized, and also depending on what type of business we're talking about, to the degree that you hire out. So you actually delegate some responsibilities, whether it's outsourced, in-house, whatever it might be. I always like in-house better than outsourced. I pretty much have everything in-house. Uh, I come from the outsourced world. So I know the the lack of standard there could be, even with the best of the best. So personally, I think nothing beats in-house. So it depends how, how much you want to protect your name, your brand. Uh, for me, that's important. The brand, the name is very important. So I like things in-house. But regardless, whether it's in-house or outsourced, to the degree that you delegate responsibilities, that you allow yourself to expand and, and you know grow bigger, is to the degree that you can scale on that chart as well in terms of your revenues. Because a lot of entrepreneurs and business owners are a one man, one woman show. They try to do anything and everything themselves. They wear 20 different hats. Those two would be the two metrics I would look at in terms of scaling.